With Squid Game, the fans can rest calmly now that it's been announced that there's a season two coming. Let's find out how this compelling series of games is about to change everything with the new season and what we can expect. Green Light If you are familiar with Squid Game, green light is something important in the series, and yes, the fans just got a green light for season two. Fans of the show have been clamoring for a second season for a while, and the green light came in June 2022, when they shared a post on their official Twitter handle saying, on your marks, get set, green light, Squid Game continues only on Netflix. The discussion about bringing Squid Game 2 didn't begin in June, but since season one piqued many people's interest. The Netflix CEO, Ted Sarandos, announced in January 2022 that Squid Game could get an upgrade from their children's games to more technical mobile games. The CEO said, The Squid Game universe has just begun. We're building those muscles steadily with our consumer products, both like the Squid Game tracksuits, and then we're making a big push on experiences that are mobile and portable. And also, the show's creator, Juan Don Kyok, had earlier given the green light to season two in November 2021 when he was speaking with the Associated Press. The show's creator said, There's been so much pressure, so much demand and so much love for a second season. So I almost feel like you leave us no choice, but I will say there will indeed be a second season. It's in my head right now. I'm in the planning process currently. Huang, however, couldn't give more information on when shooting would commence and when it would be released, but he did give a shocker in English. He said, But I do think it's too early to say when and how that's going to happen, so I will promise you this. Gihan will come back and he will do something for the world. But it's most likely that actions aren't taking place immediately to bring the show to life fast. So the fans might have to sit through a discomforting red light before getting to finally see the show. The show's creator has made it known that nothing has gone down yet regarding season two, although he has spoiled some things here and there, which we will talk about in a second. Huang, who made some comments at the 2022 Critics' Choice Awards, told Variety that although they don't have a script for the next season yet, he pointed to his head as a way of indicating the script is already inside his brain. He said, It's here, not on the page, it's here. Everything is secret. I cannot tell anything. Given how Squid Game 1 was first announced in 2019, then it's estimated that Squid Game 2 might be up for a show in 2023 or 2024. What the cast thinks. It's not a good moment for many fans to watch their favourite character being gotten rid of, especially in the final stages. And that's exactly exactly what became of the character played by Chung Ho Young, many fans have kept her alive in their theories for season two. They believe her character Kang Se Byok has so much to do in the second season. The actor, however, took her time going through Reddit fans' theories and disagreeing right away. While in the interview with Vanity Fair, the theory of her younger brother in the show joining the games didn't sit well with her. She said, My brother shouldn't go there to play. I'm going to say no for that. The actor also addressed the rumor circulating that she might be the daughter of number one because she dislikes milk just like number one's son, and also because she shares the same birthday as number one's son. Her number being the last 456 is also a factor in the rumor, but the actress said, It could make sense, but that's even more stressful to watch. Do you need more stress? The actress made a funny joke about preferring things the simple way when she said, Maybe director Huang needs more stress, but I'm a more peaceful person. However, Chong revealed that she joked with the show's director about her character having a twin sister before saying she's definitely okay to have her character out of the Squid Game, despite many theories of trying to revive her in season two. She said of her character, I don't think she might come back. And also, guys, I'm so sorry to say this, but I'm very happy to be passing away. The actress also debunked the fact that gi Hun would be the leading star for season two. Remember the detective? The actor who portrays Huan Jun Ho, the Ha Jun, said that his character might be back for season two. The fans of the show certainly know the history of the detective trying to search for his brother, who was part of the first set of The Squid Game and later became the front man of all the activities. Somehow, V believes his character will return despite being shot at the end of season one and falling off a cliff right after. Well, the actor said his character needs that hope of life to get the answers to many troubling questions in his heart. While speaking to Deadline, the actor said, I want to know what happened to him. I want him to return alive, find his brother and ask him tons of questions. As a brother, I would ask him sincerely. 
Just like the fans, the actor is curious to find out what happens in the next season, especially with his character. He continued his interview by saying, As a detective, I want to explore the overall secrets behind the game as well. I really hope to see Junho back alive and explore all these questions. I hope to see a more brotherly love side of their relationship as well. The actor, who just wants some answers for his character, doesn't think his brother would just become that innocent, loving person he grew up with, but that he'd like to see why he made those choices, which some fans might already know. Money was the reason many of the gamers got into that situation. More games. Of course, games are the theme of the show, and with season two, you can expect the showmaker to take things up a notch. In the announcement given by the show, a teaser was dropped for the fans, and there are certain things to lean towards. The teaser video shows the giant and dangerous robot doll that sets the mood for games and doesn't like to see anything move once it's red light with the number two in her eyes while the creepy music plays underneath. Alongside the video, Huang shared an eye-opening message that says it took 12 years to get Squid Game made, but only 12 days to make it known all over the world. When it comes to who to watch out for, the platform in their post said, And now Gi Hun returns. The front man returns. Season 2 is coming. The man in the suit with Duck G might be back. And one interesting thing to watch out for is a boyfriend for the giant doll. The platform says, You'll also be introduced to Young Hee's boyfriend, Chil Su. If there's going to be two dangerous dolls, then the characters are definitely getting into an even more awkward gaming position. The show's creator promised more games. He said, There will be more great games, that's all I can say. I'm just still brainstorming and collecting the ideas for season two. I haven't even started writing yet. Huang was asked if some of the characters from season one would return, but he said it would be difficult given that most of them wouldn't make it from the games, but that he might give it a try. He gestured to the actor who played Kang and said, let's say maybe she has a twin sister, you'll see. To which she jokingly replied, I could change my hair colour, let's do a little plastic surgery. Real life Squid Game. When it comes to changing everything, the second season of Squid Game is a wonder to look at. So not only are the fans of the great show going to get season two, but also a real life reality TV show from Netflix. And yes, it's been tagged the biggest reality competition ever. The announcement of this was made on June the 14th, 2022 at the Banff World Media Festival. And as fans of the show, it's a great chance to get into what it's like to be in the games, but this time the stakes keep everyone alive. Just like in the games, there'll be 456 players with a price of $4.56 million to be won. While making the announcement, Netflix VP of unscripted and documentary series Brandon Reig thanked the show creator and said, We're grateful for his support as we turn the fictional world into reality in this massive competition and social experiment. Fans of the drama series are in for a fascinating and unpredictable journey as our 456 real-world contestants navigate the biggest competition series ever, full of tension and twists with the biggest ever cash prize at the end. A teaser for the challenge has been released and casting has begun for the real-life competition with English-speaking people from all over the world. There have been contrasts controversies regarding this given the fact that the original drama version isn't in English. However, it's not known to the participants yet how the $4.56 million would be distributed, or if it's going to be the winner taking everything like in the drama. This reality competition is going to feature 10 episodes and it looks like an even more thrilling version knowing that the participants are not just filling a role. As you have heard, Squid Game Season 2 is coming out to cause even more chaos than the first part did. What did you think of it? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.